Hello and thanks for watching the shuttle training videos. Today we're going to talk about one of our newest products, the Shuttle X50. It's one of our all-in-one, uh, I should say the only <laughs> all-in-one uh, system we have uh, as of now. And um, let's start with the box, the packaging of this system. As you can see, it's a compact uh, box. And let's uh, open it up to extract the system. Usually I like to sit it on its side to slide it open, uh, to slide the system up. Um, let me show you how compact it is, uh, all packaged. Uh, as you can see, there is an accessory box. We'll talk about it later. And let's um, extract the system. Let's pull it out like this, nice and easy. Put the box on the side. Okay, and here we have our system uh, surrounded by foam, enough uh, room all over so it can uh, withhold any shake or bumping on the way up to the customer. Let's uh, remove one of the foams, like this, and then the other side. Okay, it comes in its uh, clothes bag. This is a cotton based bag. Okay, let's remove it. And here is our X50. Okay, as you can see, it's a all in one computer, no keyboard, no mouse, because the screen here is uh, touch sensitive. Okay, let's um, put everything aside over here. And let's uh, talk about the accessory box a little bit. The accessory box contains only the necessary stuff for the system to work. As you can see, there is a power supply with a, a long power cord. There is a power cord that will go from the electrical outlet to the power supply. We'll connect this later on. And uh, here is the bag with the manual and the driver's disc. Uh, this is pretty much what you're going to find in this accessory box. So for uh, our system, we're gonna need uh, a couple uh, tools and um, let's uh, show how to remove uh, all the cover and, and, and this base, which by the way, can also be used as a handle or a hanger if uh, the need comes to it. So let's uh, take a look at the tools. Uh, we need to open this system. We're going to use a flat screwdriver just to pop open the cover uh, that is holding the, the hanger or the base. So you can uh, pry it open, uh, you may see a couple of slots there. You can use any of those to pry open this uh, cover, just being careful not to damage the little hooks on each side of the cover. So now we are going to remove these four screws. we remove the hanger. Now the cover is also being held by another four screws. Let's remove them. And as you can notice there is another slot right here which uh, we're going to use to Try open with a, a flat screwdriver. Okay, this is the, inter the interior of the X50. Uh, we will need to remove this shield here. Uh, for this, since the shield is very thin, 
we will prefer to use a manual screwdriver and we will need to remove uh, three screws one two and three now as you can see we have our hard drive right here basically uh, we just need to work on a hard drive and uh, uh, if needed a memory the memory is allocated under this uh, another uh, this second shield uh, next to the CPU let's uh, remove these two parts As you can see, the memory uh, module is here, and there is room for another uh, memory module. Uh, it will take uh, up to four gigabytes of memory in two sticks. Uh, the CPU and chipset are located here under this uh, heat sink. Uh, let's remember this uh, system is uh, atom based. The new uh, micro core uh, made by Intel. Now let's remove the hard drive. Just slide it down or forward, depending on your uh, position. Okay, so here we have the hard drive inside its casing. If you need to upgrade it, replace it, or, or whatever the need of it, uh, you will need to unscrew it from this uh, housing. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we go. This is our hard drive. Okay, as you can see, it's a laptop drive. Uh, 2.5 inches and in this case is a 160 gigabyte uh, hard drive uh, we haven't tried with a bigger kind but we think that for all the purposes uh, of this system 160 gigs it's uh, good enough uh, we don't find uh, any need to make it bigger um, as we now let's talk a little bit about the uh, memory in this system as I mentioned before the memory is just uh, like any other regular laptop memory and you will install it the same way you open the tabs on the sides to pop it up and just pull it up you can install it the same way at 45 degree angle just sit it on the slot push it in and then down until the little tabs snap it in okay there is uh, room for another stick of memory here.